Okay, so I did a video the other day and uh, I was testing out various different devices for speed uh, using USB boot on the Raspberry Pi, which has just come along officially, uh, although it's still in beta at the moment. And in this test, I tested my uh, physical hard drive. I tested an SSD drive and also a 16 gig, uh, but a decent SD card. And uh, the results from the tests were interesting. The SSD was definitely by far the best. Weirdly, I thought the hard disk ran the operating system better. So I've just been testing two USB sticks. Uh, so they're both Kingston USB sticks. There's a G3 and a G4 data traveler. Uh, and they're just normal USB sticks that I use. They're not particularly old, but they weren't particularly expensive. Uh, so should you run your operating system from a USB stick? Uh, so this was the results from the test from the black USB stick. Uh, and I'll show the white one in a minute. So let's get this full screen. The main three that we look at are sequential write speed. So 4982 kilobits per second. So that's, that's half of what it should be. Uh, so a fail. Random write speed is uh, three IOPs <laughs> and it should be 500 so that's a fail uh, and then random read speed is 410 and that should be 1500 so very poor um, the the write speed was low in all of them like three and one and one and the read speed was also very low uh, the write speed in fact that was the best it got to 4982 so let's close that one down or let's just get rid of it, put that in the background and I'll show you all of them side by side. So this was my SD card, a Magix SD card, and uh, that does run the operating system well, and it was one of the faster cards that I've had, uh, even though it was a cheap one from Amazon. And so you can see the sequential write speed, 31148, uh, and the target was uh, 10,000, so 31,000 covers 10,000 easily. Uh, the random write speed, 850, only needs to be 500. And the random read speed is double what it needs to be, 2942. So really good on the SD card. This is my uh, old, it's an Xbox 360 drive that I got from CEX for a couple of pounds. Uh, and uh, so I don't know the state of it or anything. But the, the write speed was really decent. So 54,000. And I felt that as an operating system, it runs all right on it. Uh, and I've just installed... My video yesterday was uh, Damaso's 200 gig build of RetroPie, and it works perfectly well. I don't know if I'd, I haven't tried it with Raspbian yet, but I'm, not, I'm probably not going to take that, that build off because it is a great build. Uh, but anyway, going back to this, so random write speed was a fail on the Hitachi drive and random read speed. But I, I still think this is because it's a physical drive, it's more likely to fail that. Whereas if you've got something with no moving parts, it's less likely to fail it. The SSD aced it, even though it was what, £13.39, 60 gig King Dian SSD. So 91,000 goes uh, where it should be 10,000, so nine times quicker than it needs to be. Random write speed, nearly 8,000, and it only needs to be 500, and random read speed, 4,000, uh, and the target was 1,500. So so really, really good. That's, that's the best I've had. Although I've got another couple of SSD drives which I haven't tried, but because that's so far above the rest, and you really feel it, when you're using something like Raspbian uh, or any other operating system I've installed on it, it just feels lightning fast, so definitely worth it. Uh, but these are the ones I would probably stay away from, uh, which is uh, USB sticks. And I haven't tried a really good USB stick, so hopefully someone will have one and they'll have tried it and they'll be able to uh, put the results of their test in the comments. I'm only really interested in the three uh, main lines that I'm covering here. But uh, you can see the Data Traveler White, which is a G4, uh, so 5400, so half of what it should be. Uh, the random write speed is one, <laughs> definite fail. The random read speed was all right though, uh, 1898, uh, so that passed. The Data Traveler in black, which is a, a G3, so I guess it's a lower model, although I for some reason in my head, I thought it was a higher model. I thought it had quoted 100 megabits and it was it was some better model, but I haven't really looked at all the specs on the official site. Uh, so what have we got? 4982, so yeah, lower. Uh, then we've got three, which is higher uh, than the white one, than the G4. Uh, and then we've got 410, which is super low. Um, but it, this is what this operating system at the moment is running on this. So it's not that you can't use it, it's just that you're not going to get as good an experience. And let's have a look and see what it's like. So if I click on that, uh, if I go for, say, BBC, 
and then uh, BBC News. Let's open up another tab and do Hot UK Deals. And it's kind of testament to how how lightweight Raspbian is as an operating system. It's, it, it is incredibly lightweight and you don't need a fast drive or anything to make it run really quite quickly. Okay, so we probably established that it's not worth running your operating system from a USB stick uh, over an SD card. But then again, I haven't tried any fast USB sticks. So if you've got a fast USB stick and you've had some great results and results that beat my SD card, then I'd be interested to see what it's like. Okay, thanks very much for watching. Please like and subscribe.